Continuing on with common network problems, uh, unknown host is obviously an issue that is going to prevent you from connecting to a system as well. And uh, within any kind of TCP IP environment, every system has a host name uh, that is used to connect to that particular system. So with respect to that, it's always, again, the DNS configuration, the domain name service that needs to be verified. Now, one of the things you can do with respect to that is, of course, to, uh, if you can find out its IP address, the actual numeric address, then that bypasses name resolution. So that also, of course, indicates that it is a problem with the name service. So you need to make sure that uh, you're querying the correct server and that it has a record for the system you're trying to contact. Otherwise, you're just going to get this unknown host. If it's a default gateway misconfigured, then just ping the IP address of the gateway to determine its status. And if you aren't getting a reply from the gateway, then clearly there is an issue with it. But you always need to be able to contact your default gateway to be able to contact any system on the other side of your particular network. Uh, default gateway is always the means by which you leave your network and get to any other one, including the internet. So simply pinging the IP address of the gateway to verify that you're getting a response from that system and make sure that it's configured correctly. Uh, failure of the service provider, we did touch on that already, but uh, again, just validate the ISP connectivity. Call their support line, see if they are encountering any failures. And again, if they are, then really there's very little that you can do unless you actually have a backup connection uh, using another ISP or maybe the same one, but they've got uh, some kind of redundant connection available. But, uh, you know, failure of the ISP, pretty much it's up to them as to how quickly they're going to be able to get their services back. So unfortunately, that's a kind of hurry up and wait scenario. But if it's just something wherein you cannot reach by host name or by fully qualified domain name, FQDN, uh, again, this comes down to DNS configuration. But this is more so referring to things that are on the internet side of things. Uh, now, if it is just a matter of a DNS server, maybe your own DNS server is not correctly resolving names on the internet for some reason. It should be noted that you can actually use any publicly available DNS servers to simply resolve names. So there's actually quite a few that uh, almost every ISP will provide. So in other words, for plain old just internet name resolution, if you if you cannot resolve those names using your DNS server, use theirs. Uh, so you can always find out what their DNS server configuration is just by asking them if you need to. Uh, but there's several other publicly available DNS servers that can be used uh, to resolve names on the internet. In either case, of course, you always need to be able to resolve names to get to any particular system. So it's always a matter of checking and confirming the DNS configuration, both internally and externally.